Hello friends, I'm Parwes and today I'm going to show you how you can create a nice and beautiful digital clock in PyQt5. Uh, we are using QLCD number and also a timer for creating our nice and beautiful digital clock. Uh, I have made a new Python file at the name of uh, digiclock. Now I'm going to create my first clock. First I need to import uh, from PyQt5.qt widgets import Q application QLCD number also we are going to import sys okay now I'm going to create my class clock it inherits from QLCD number going to create the constructors uh, constructor dot init now I'm going to create a variable title to my application. This is a digital clock. And self.top uh, should be 400. Uh, self.lift 400. And uh, not self, we just... Uh, there is no need of self in here okay and uh, the width is uh, 450 and the height is 300 okay also create a uh, icon variable uh, my icon is clock.png okay uh, now we are going to uh, create our first our window title set a window title to title also we are going to set the geometry to uh, top uh, left width and height also set the icon set window icon to icon okay now for now we are going to uh, give color for our LCD number uh, also we are going to uh, give a foreground for that uh, before this uh, before coloring uh, first we need to create this first I'm going to create in here uh, self dot set segment style to QLCD uh, dot felt now make a timer also you need to import timer uh, I forgot from pyqt 5qt core import Q timer also I think uh, just we need timer okay now we are going to create our timer, uh, timer Q timer self. Set the timeout to timer, uh, timeout, timeout dot connect, self dot show time. Right now I haven't made, made this method, but uh, after this I will make this and timer dot start give it 1000 millisecond and at the end self dot show time okay now we are going to create our this show time method in here copy this the show time Also, I need to import Q time in here. Q time. Okay, now make a Q time object. Time Q time dot make it current time. Q time dot current time. And after this, 
make a text variable. Convert this to string time dot to string. Now give the format hh and mm. Now make a if condition if if time dot second or uh, modulus two is equal to zero. This if this is the case we take our text we take the number two and we plus this with uh, plus text and tree. Okay, like this. And at the end you should so dot display your text. Okay, now this is our complete code. Uh, let me at the bottom make an app to application sys.arc v clock clock make clock object clock dot show and app dot execute. Now let me run this. There's I think we receive a error. Okay, oh sorry in the Q icon in here I have made a problem. Also you need to from pyqt 5qt GUI import Q icon and in here in our icon Q icon like this okay now let me run this oh now I have uh, but why it's doing like this oh, let me just copy this uh, uh, let me just, just check this that where is the problem uh, QCD number dot filled mm, timer dot start solve dot show time dot current time text time dot to string and f time dot second modulus two is zero text text two plus Oh, in here I made a problem like this. Okay, now let me run this. Okay, now we have our uh, uh, nice digital clock with uh, uh, also a title and also an icon. Now we are going to give a gra uh, uh, color for our text and also color for our foreground. Uh, for this. And here uh, we are going to create a, a plate plate uh, so dot plate okay we create a plate object now for giving a foreground foreground color uh, you can simply write uh, palette dot set uh, palette dot set color dot set color and uh, palette dot window text for we are going to give a color for our uh, foreground of our uh, text and give a Q color. Also, you need to import Q color. Uh, I think it is from it is on Qt GUI. Yeah, Q color, Q color, and then here write an RGB value. I give it 204, uh, 204 and 0. 
and at the end you need to set your plate uh, you can simply write in here uh, self dot set plate to plate okay now let me run this now we have a nice uh, color for our uh, text our foreground of our text now how you can give color to your background uh, for this uh, I'm going to write background color and again you write plate dot set color plate dot background dot background now give a Q color and RGB color uh, for this I'm going to give 0 0 and 255 now let me run this okay now I have a, a nice uh, background color for my digital clock okay uh, if you give uh, if you want to give a border for this also you can give this uh, let me write border color plate dot set color plate uh, for example I want to give a light uh, border Q color now write your color 255 0 and 0 uh, it should be, I think, uh, a read border. <coughs> yeah, you can see now I have a read border. Well, this is our complete code. Uh, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. Uh, for the further videos, don't forget subscription of the channel.